yourself. I don't have that much time to explain, but you gotta listen. They've been watching you and they found you. You gotta get disconnected where you still have to. Oh, oh, oh. Disconnect from what? Hey! Hey! Okay, guys, let's begin. First, you need at least two clips or a clip and pictures to be your hologram. It doesn't really matter. But you need to at least plan ahead for this because otherwise, you can't really make this effect work. So what we're going to do is we're going to use two clips from my intro and let's start with uh, unhiding the, the hologram one which is going to be the clip I use for the hologram. So what we need to do first is we need to take that clip and right click on it and pre-compose it and we'll name it hologram and press OK. After we do that we're going to apply two effects to this. We're going to apply tint and levels. And we're going to go to channel, and switch it to blue, and we're going to drag this histogram thing from the right more towards the left to give it a blue color. Let's move ahead in the video a little bit to get a better idea. That looks good. Now we're going to double click in the hologram composition. And we're going to apply an effect to that actual video. It's the in finite tin blinds. Drag it to the layer here. The things we're going to use are 15% for completion, 90 degrees. For the direction, width will be 18, and the feather will be 4. And we also want to add a noise to this, which I did ahead of time. We'll take the noise and we'll drag it to this composition and put it on top. We're going to switch the mode to screen. If you don't see mode, just hit toggle switches and modes here to bring it up. And then you'll have your modes. And I also want to change the opacity of this to about 20 because I'm only using this just as an extra effect. And we should get a little cool effect here. Yep, there it is, which is exactly what we want. So let's go back to our hologram tutorial composition and let's toggle the switches and modes because one thing we need to do ahead of time is to make this a 3D layer for the future. And we're going to go ahead and scale it down. Hold shift to scale proportionately. And we'll move it to where we want. That looks good. And we'll go ahead and go here and it's transform and we'll adjust the x-axis a little bit. And go ahead and get the Y. That looks good. And right now it's not doing us any good because even though the arm is moving a little bit, the video isn't. So it doesn't even look like it's part of the same video. So what we want need to do here is, well before we do anything, we want to make the hologram layer about 50% opacity because holograms are transparent. There we go. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the main clip and we need to go to track motion. And if you don't see the tracker area here, just go to window and then choose tracker and make sure it's checked and it should come up. And once you get that, we need to go to the beginning of the clip here and we'll hit track motion. We're going to do position and scale to give us two boxes. We're going to take the first box and we're going to move it somewhere to the left of our video. We'll make this box bigger and then we'll make this one a little bit bigger too just to make it easier to track. That looks good. And now we're going to take the second box and we're going to move it over here. And we'll scale it a little bit too. Now we're going to Go over here and we're going to click this little arrow here with the line and it's just going to analyze the frame forward just to make sure it's going to track okay. A few frames here and it looks good. Now we'll go ahead and click the play button and analyze it forward for the rest of the clip. We'll go ahead and do this and we'll get back to the tutorial because this does take a little bit of time. Okay, all looks good on my end. It tracked smoothly here. So now that that happened, we're going to create a new layer by going on to the timeline, right clicking on it, clicking new, null object, and we'll take it to the top here. And we're going to go back to the main clip. We're going to hit edit target on the tracker. 
We're gonna change the layer to null. Hit OK. And then we're gonna hit apply. And we're gonna make sure it has the X and Y dimensions and hit OK. And what this will do is it'll apply a whole bunch of keyframes to the position and scale. You don't have to worry about that. You can just shrink this down and you can hide this layer. It's there. There we go. So what you want to do here is you want to hit this pick whip here. And we'll drag it to the null object from the hologram. And it will apply everything that's in this null layer to the hologram. So if we play this now, the hologram should move with the arm. And there you go. See how it's moving? So now it looks and feels like it's actually part of the video pretty awesome we gotta make sure we apply this to every layer that we add uh, going forward so what we need to do now is we need to make, we need to copy the hologram layer we'll copy it with control C we'll paste with B take it below it we'll rename this layer to projection press OK we'll go to the beginning of the video here and we will do the same thing with the pick whip drag the projection to null and it looks like they're going to play together. Awesome. So now projection, we're going to take this clip, we're going to bring it down to about right here. And we want to apply two effects to this. One's a radial blur. So CC radial blur. Drag it to the projection. And we're going to apply a brightness and contrast as well. Drag that to our projection. So first let's do the radio blur. We're going to click this target here and we're going to take it way down low. Probably about right there. And we're going to switch the type from scratch to centered zoom. We're going to go ahead and do a negative. And as you can see it's like doing a blur upward which is what we want. That looks good. And we want to adjust the brightness. Um, contrast that looks better just to play with it to make it try to match the color that you did for your uh, video clip for the hologram once you do that we need to apply a mask so we're going to use the pin tool here and we're going to make a mask to match the watch here it doesn't have to be perfect just close and we want to go to our projection layer, go to the masks, select the mask, and we want to adjust expansion about 40 or 50. Looks good. Let's see what it looks like right now. Okay, we need to make some adjustments. So we'll tweak it here. And there we go. Now we have a little projection. So it looks like it's projecting it upward. So now the only thing we need to do is we need to make that little circle that I did in, in the intro. By doing that, we just need to create a new solid layer. Right click new, new solid, we'll name it circle. It looks like I already got the collar set, but you want to make it a blue collar. This blue will work right here. You can use this collar if you want. It can be whatever you want. Just try to make it close to whatever collar you want your hologram to be. Press OK. Now we want to take the lips tool and make a circle mask. And we're going to make sure the anchor point is in the center. So we're going to center it here. There we go. And we need to copy this mask layer. C and we'll paste it. We're going to subtract it. We're going to go into the second mask details and we're going to expand it by negative 50. Close enough. And we're going to apply that same effect that I did earlier, the vent and blinds. And we're going to delete this keyframe. Take it down. There we go. About 14. Adjust the angle, whatever you think works good. Definitely going to take the width down. We don't need to worry about the feather this time. And we want to change the effect to screen. And we want to adjust the opacity of this layer some. Don't want to take it down too much. That looks good. But we're going to do a mask here. And this mask out area to cut out 
parts of the circle and we're going to subtract them. There we go. And we'll subtract this there as well. And you can adjust them and tweak them however you want. Okay. And we want to go toggle switches and modes because we want to make sure this is a 3D layer. So if you don't see it, just click toggle switches and modes. And then you have your 3D. We'll click on that in the circle. And now you got a 3D layer. We'll go back into transform here. Let's go here and we'll rotate this. About right there. And we'll go here just slightly. Move this down some. And what we want to do is go to the beginning of the video and we're going to keyframe the Z rotation by clicking on this stopwatch. Go all the way to the last frame of the video and we're just going to rotate it about four times. You'll see the number to the left changing. Once you get forward and you're good. And that should give us a pretty good rotation. And we want to make sure that the circle is below null and we want to pick whip hit also to the null object to make sure it follows as well with the others. Now we have that, let's pre-render it and see what we have. And there you have it guys, the hologram effect. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and if you haven't already, hit subscribe and hit that bell to get notified of future videos. And leave me a comment for whatever tutorials that you want me to do in the future. And I'll see what I can do. Huh? What was that?